Hi everyone, it's Kristen and this is Simply Sketching. Today we are going to have a lesson in patience and we are going to sketch corn. So join me as we sketch corn. I am using my colored pencils again. Again, you can use whatever you'd like, crayons that your kids aren't using at the time. Uh, colored pencils, they don't have to be Prismacolor, they can be Crayola, they can be whatever is cheap and at the dollar store, or you can use pencils. Uh, what you're gonna need is to put your patience cap on if you want to finish this sketch. Thankfully, I don't have to, but you do. Uh, we're gonna start by drawing the shucks of the corn. I'm gonna use a green to draw the shucks, and I'm going to just find a point on my paper to start, and I'm going to draw a nice curve line, and then I'm gonna bring it back down and make it curve at the end. Just like that, like you're drawing a really long leaf, like a tulip leaf. I draw the shuck first because once you draw the corn, you have to draw all the kernels. And if you draw a shuck, then that's some kernels you don't have to draw. So we're gonna draw the other side now. And the other side, I'm going to make it look like it is underneath of this shuck. So I'm gonna start about a quarter of the way up and I'm just gonna do a curve line, but I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna go all the way and I'm gonna have it kind of come down I like that. So it looks like the shuck has been bent. I'm gonna bring it back with a curve line and then bring it back around. Now, when you have time, you can come back in, you can add some amazing shading to this so you can get depth and shadows. I kind of added another little line in there so you can kind of see where it bends. Um, this is a good opportunity for, you know, learning folds in objects and how they'll bend in perspective, but we're not doing that today. So we're going to go back in and we're going to draw the corn cob now. Uh, the corn cob is like an elongated egg. So obviously the curve has already started because you have your shuck. So you're going to come up here and start halfway in one of the, uh, on one of the shucks and you're going to draw a nice curve line up, curve it at the top and then come down and connect it. It's gonna look just like that. Now here's the fun part. We're gonna draw some perspective lines on this. So we're gonna start at a side and obviously corn cobs are curved. So we're gonna start at the side and we're gonna draw a curved line down. And then we're gonna go up a little farther and draw another curve and another curve. And I will show you what this looks like. Let me get them done. That way you know what I am talking about when I say drawing curve lines. Because once you get to the center of this corn, your curves are going to have to go the other way. So I've started them, and now I'm at the center. So they are curving very slightly. Instead of drawing straight lines, you are drawing curved lines. With This will just help it give the perspective of being curved as you draw your kernels on it. But now that I'm in the center, I'm going to slightly curve them the other way. And this is what I will end up with, just like that. Now we have to draw the other set of curved lines. So I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. These, these curved lines luckily only have to go one way. They only have to curve one way. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing, only I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up, drawing slightly curved lines. Now, obviously your shucks are there, so you kind of have to draw your lines with the shucks being in the way. But once you get to where it's just corn cob, you can just get right to town drawing all of those curved lines. I told you, lesson in patience. Get those all drawn in. I'm gonna hurry and get these last couple lines drawn so we can move on. And this is what it will look like. Now, you can leave it like this if you'd like to. It's a very nice corn cob. Or you can draw every single one of those corn kernels. And to do that, we're gonna pretend that this is Indian corn, and I'm going to use a red colored pencil to draw a couple of them. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take each and every one of those squares, and you're going to curve them. So it's basically, you're gonna stay with the same perspective, stay in the lines, but you're gonna make them curved. And I'll draw just a little row of them, so you can see what I mean by saying curved. Kind of like that. And as you go along, you may color them in if you would like. What I like to do is dark on the edges 
and gradually fade in the middle. And that'll help give it a little bit of depth. It looks like there's a nice little highlight on the kernels, just like that. And then you go through and you do every single one of them until you have a beautiful ear of corn. I'm not gonna show that on the camera, but I can't wait to see yours. Thank you.